Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and um, just to start things off, um, I've got the air conditioner going, so there's going to be a fair amount of background noise going, but it's uh, it's like 81 degrees in my apartment right now, so I've got to get the temperature down. And then, and then secondly, um, this video here, I thought I'd just go ahead and uh, do like a do a demo on the uh, last two battles. Um, I've only got two left. Oh, and um, I. I did a stream today, just like uh, has been going on the past few weeks during my work week. I haven't been streaming, just usually too uh, tired, wrecked up, and irritable to to uh, get any kind of stream going. So, but um, I have been playing this, and I have been playing this off stream, just doing my dailies and events and all that. So, but like I said, I'm at a point where I actually remembered to uh, make a video make a video about this um, just usually whenever I do these I don't I don't think to make a video until after I've used up all my attempts so this time I actually did remember to but again what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is a uh, kind of a sample demo on the uh, the bounty battles here I'm gonna do the first one here with my normal default team and then doing the second one with the uh, quote unquote recommended team and then like usual I'm gonna have some music going in the background this time around it's gonna be toad blood of toad blood and frog coffins it's uh it, it's just what came up on my uh, randomly shuffled playlist and oftentimes I'll listen to this at work as well so. okay, let me go ahead and get that paired up So yeah, this is my normal default team. Uh, Wanda Stars. This is very much a high risk, high reward weapon. Um, then we got Classic here. Two damage to an enemy, boosted by the armor. Steel Life, boosted by Skulls, destroyed. And then it's like a backup bit. Whoops. My uh, keyboard double tapped. So I guess for those that, um, kind of a real quick primer on how the bounty works for those that don't know. Um, it's, it's a bunch of battles, kind of like what you see here. And, uh, and then technically, theoretically, you can use any troops you want. But uh, in order to maximize your points, points that you get out of this, you'll want to bring in troops that have the bounty hunter trait. And you'll get uh, you'll get extra score and stuff. But on the downside, they, for the most part, they suck. You're really not going to use these for uh, any other content except for bounty. that did he have I don't really use her until there's like one or two troops one or excuse me, one or two enemies left and then cast this so like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show a normal battle with the team I normally use but yeah and that's the other thing too it's good at, when you're getting to a point getting to a point where enemies are kind of climbing up in level, they're going to start dealing some damage. So, level 85 right now. So, I'm going to need to have something that's going to entangle.
purples and yellows, and plus something else too. You're not gonna not gonna get a whole lot of four matches with this kind of team, so sometimes I'll go ahead and go out on a limb and cast this part just to curse them all. That way, so all the debuffs I've managed to actually get on them stay on longer. With this ideal team I have right now, it's already taking a while. So let's at least get him out of here. on my notepad and I gotta pull the team code up from that or maybe not okay so looks like I'm gonna have to back out of here or maybe not no nope, don't nope. yeah I still can't Ogres at the top. But yeah, it. I only found her really useful, like, towards the early part of the bounty where monsters hardly do any damage and they go down with one hit. But I'm at a point now where monsters are doing enough damage that it's gonna. You know, they're gonna wipe out her armor. And she's gonna start losing all, start losing a lot of life, and it's gonna get to where exploding, exploding gems ain't gonna help. And the fortress gate that she summons after she gets killed, and it, again, skull damage reduction doesn't help that much. armor, plus five and there's enough round gems on the board, but, and then another thing about the bounty, and I'm not good with names right now, uh, bad memory, you're supposed to use this, I don't know the name, so I guess a bad preparation on my part. pretty much have to hunt it on site. Like I said, I don't know the name of the troop. Drinking. And then... This guy's only got two stars. Um... Yeah. But, um... In all these events, you're gonna come across what's called a like a leader or boss or something. But um, if you have him in your team, 
you'll get double the score. But he's only gonna get double. He's only gonna get double. I'm not gonna send this guy. I'm not gonna spend all their resources for something that I'm only gonna use for a bounty. And even then, this ability. I've seen this. Uh, I've seen this uh, earlier once before. If, nothing to write home about. I mean, you have to have brown gems on the board first, and even then, if I'm reading this correctly, you'll have no control over which which uh, brown gems are going to get converted. So, yeah. So basically, you're going to get double score, but I think I needed to do that. Oh well, of course I have it. So, this is the uh, recommended uh, team setup for Bounty. Yeah, so, X-22, but if I'm understanding right, it's going to be times 44. become less effective. Oh no, she's not even full mana. Uh, no greens or browns. I guess. Didn't help. Yeah. Didn't help. Yeah, it goes to a random. I don't know if I said that earlier. But, yeah, I don't think I did. But the entangled gems, if you match them, a random enemy is entangled. Not the guy on the top. So, she really ain't going to be blowing deadly squad for gems now. So, yeah, this battle, though, is already taking too long. That said 4400. So, compare 
there to... Go and do it for now. Yeah. So they don't use it. Said, this weapon is a high risk, high reward one. So. And since I'm seeing some yellows on the board, yellows and a few purples gonna go with this one instead. There we go. Now this one. Sneaking hit point. So, yeah, much easier doing it like this. Much easier and also safer. And, um, 3600. Remember its name. Yeah, can't ascend them. And again, I don't want to blow the. I don't want to be spending a whole bunch of resources trying to get this guy leveled up, gems, ascension orbs, etc. So, not for something that I'm only going to use for a uh, bounty. And then on top of that, I mean, this ability, for the most part, is basically shit. Yeah, I think last battle I got 3,600. I thought this battle here said 4,400. So. So, we're at a point now. Just bad luck there. There we go. In front of me. Top guy wasn't entangled. Okay, so you can explode those uh, entangled gems too, not just magic. Well, 
much for that, so we're pretty much gonna be. So we're gonna have to hand pick all the matches now. lagged a little bit. As you can see here, this has taken way too freaking long. I guess. Yeah, 4,400, so... This, you're better off just going with my uh, going with my other original team, and there's zero left. I got a few rewards out of it. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do a demo of that. I can't. I kind of made the same mistake when I did the uh, I did another video of this some time ago. I tried to make a video when I had zero attempts left and I couldn't access my screen. But otherwise, uh, I just wanted to do that demo on that. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I will see you all next time. Bye for now.